right, Michael was talking about a little template that I put out for everybody, and it's called the parentheses open. You can download this thing and then modify the text, and let's go to the animation tab here. I'll play this. So parentheses come out and kind of reveal whatever text you want to put underneath. Okay, and then at the end of this I do, uh, well, I'll just demo it. Let's go into slideshow mode here. Okay, so it, it just kind of reveals, which is a nice little simple intro effect. Okay, and then it just zooms out. Okay, so let me go back here for a second. Okay, so the effect that he's talking about is this zooming toward you. He says he's going crazy trying to figure out how I did that animation, that zooming toward you and then disappearing animation. So I'm going to show that one more time. Okay, so click, zing. Oh, neat. My nailer is going to do a video scribe review. I can hardly wait. Whoosh. Oh, are you kidding me? And then, of course, I could have my next set of content here. Well, the trick there is it's not an animation, it's a transition. So notice here is the slide with the animation. If I play this, well, that's all it does. It just does the little reveal thing. The fly-through is, again, not an animation, it is a transition. So all I did was I added a blank slide right after this, and for this slide, if you go to Transitions, you'll see that it is a fly through. Okay? I think I have it fly out. So in other words, whatever is on the previous slide will fly through to the next slide. And then, of course, on this slide, I could add my next slide's worth of content. I just left it blank, but that's kind of how the trick works. And it brings up a good point. I love doing this kind of animation, okay, and I'll tell you why, because the effect is neat right off the bat, but see all this junk here, right, all this garbage and this and that, and, you know, a lot of people will end up with exit effects, and, oh, gosh, that just gets way too complicated, and then all of a sudden you're clicking and things aren't happening, or it doesn't, uh, I don't know. An easier way to do it is to let a transition handle it. Okay, so a lot of people will spend a lot of time after this animation gets done in creating additional animations to exit everything, right? Well, you don't really have to do that. <laughs> uh, let me go here, and what I'm going to do is, let's see, let's, is there a, let's see if I can find a transition uh, that I might like, or that does kind of the same thing. So maybe it's a split, or let's just do a wipe. Okay, now watch as I go into slideshow mode here. Okay, all this stuff is going to come in, and then I'm going to have an effect to get it to exit, but I'm not going to do any of the animation work. Ready? Click. Zoom. See, it just wipes it right off. Right? Now, you know, granted, it's not going to be flying or whizzing out of there, and if that's the case, then, well, yeah, you might need to add exit effects here. But, you know, when it comes time to, to making stuff quickly and easily, less is more, okay? And so I think there's probably a couple of others uh, that I like to use this on. One is like the Ferris wheel. Let's, I'm going to add a Ferris wheel here. And this one's kind of neat also. So here comes the text, and then the Ferris wheel kind of whips that one out towards the bottom at an angle, and the new stuff comes in uh, on the top. Don't discount using transitions to move from slide to slide to use for effects. Okay? Like I say, what a lot of people do, and in fact a lot of the templates and stuff that you buy, uh, like on the Warrior Forum and stuff like that, that's what they do. They just load this thing to the hilt with all kinds of superfluous animations, and it just complicates everything. Yeah, just be aware. Yay for transitions. Roger that.